Thomas. Congratulations on your 200th birthday, and I, none of us will be around for 300, but I have no doubt it'll take place. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce our state representative, Naraj Jantani. Naraj gave us a proclamation at our Founders Day uh, event back in um, February. And it's hanging on the wall over there where the rest of these will be framed and um, put there for your benefit if you want to come in and, and read one of the nice things people have said about Miamisburg. Let's welcome our state representative, Naraj Jantani. Class of 2009, Mayor, if you're counting. Well, thank you all for having me. It is truly an honor to be here to, to celebrate Miamisburg's bicentennial. Like the mayor said, I gave my resolution from the House of Representatives at the Founders Day dinner in February. But, you know, when I got elected, the mayor and I sat down and I said, you know, we were talking about the recent state representatives from the region. And I said, well, mayor, I said, what was the last time uh, we had a state representative from Miamisburg? Uh, and he said it was the Civil War era. And so of, of all of the achievements, uh, you know, I am most proud to be the first state representative from Miamisburg since the Civil War era. Uh, and I'm most proud to be, have been born and raised in Miamisburg. I know we call Miamisburg Ohio Star City, but you know, my parents immigrated from India to Miamisburg, not to the United States, to Miamisburg 40 years ago. And Miamisburg gave my family and me the American dream. And so while Miamisburg is a lot of things to a lot of people, I firmly believe that Miamisburg to me is the city of the American dream. And as we sit here today uh, on the 200th anniversary of Miamisburg, I can't think of it being in, in better shape. And you know, we can all say a lot of good things about Miamisburg, but, but I do want to take a moment to thank our mayor and his leadership. You know, he's been mayor for one sixth of Miamisburg's history. Okay? I know that because he became mayor when I was born. So 27 years of 200, he has been our mayor, okay? And I can tell you, I can tell you, things like this park do not just happen. Things like the downtown do not just happen. Turning around a community does not just happen, okay? It takes leadership. And that is what the mayor has given to us. And I know that this may be his last year in office. Next year will be his last year in office, but this is truly the crowning achievement for him to be mayor during our bicentennial. And, you know, a lot, I represent seven communities and, and a lot of them have remarkable achievements and usually there will be a one hour ceremony, but it's because of his leadership that we are getting not only a week of a lot of activities, but a year long of activities. And so, uh, mayor, uh, the city is not you, the city is not me. Uh, the city is all of us, uh, but you, Mayor, embody everything that is great about this city. So thank you and happy 200th, Miamisburg. Now you know why I didn't run against him when he ran. <laughs> Remember swearing that young guy in as, as a student council representative at, at La Vida Bar School, third grade. The, the youngest person in the Ohio House of Representatives. You know, I appreciate your saying the kind things about me. These things could not happen without a city council that backed everything we did. And at this time, I want to introduce them. Uh, you can save your applause to last. Tom Nicholas, Greg Thompson, Ryan Colvin, our Vice Mayor Sarah Clark, John Stalber, <laughs> Michelle Collins. Okay, let's give them a round of applause. I've been interviewed several times on uh, WHI radio and television the last few days, and they wanted to know how this came about and why Miamisburg 
is progressing today. And I said that's simple. It's the people. The people that live here. You're willing to try out new programs by also honoring the past. We've taken on many, many projects in the last few years and we have over 200 volunteers that's putting this program this week together. So let's give them a round of applause now.